Hey guys, I want to begin the video by stating that I have not purchased any legacy related cards for two and a half years. And there's two reasons I have not purchased legacy cards. I won't trade for them. I won't buy them. Uh, even if they were in a collection, I have not purchased a collection in some time because the collections I purchased in the past were largely due to me wanting to buy, trade, or sell legacy. Legacy is extremely difficult to move right now. For me personally, it was very difficult two and a half years ago, and it's still difficult trying to move it today. Now, there are two main concerns I've had about Legacy. One is the counterfeits. It's not the fact that the counterfeits are perfect or that they are amazing and no one can tell the difference. You can tell the difference. I just don't want to have to. I play this game for fun. It is not fun having even the possibility of being ripped off for several hundred dollars. That's not a risk I would associate with a hobby. Like I would not want, that's not enjoyment factor. It takes away from my enjoyment of a hobby. I wanna be able to order a card on eBay or online or in person and know that it's real. I have my doubts about eBay Craigslist and other plate vendors as well. So I don't want to deal with the stress. I don't want to return it to me. If I ever were to, if someone would to sell me a fake card, I would rip it and then that would be the end of it because it would be too much stress, too much of my wasted time when I'm supposed to really enjoying this hobby, figuring out, you know, is this card fake? If the card is fake, how do I prove it? How do I get my money back? etc etc the second reason and the more important reason there's just no one to play with legacy is a format defined by the very cards you are currently looking at they are limited there will never be more of these cards these dual lands which are a must in the majority of decks then there there will not be more tomorrow than they are today and if there are more tomorrow that means there's more counterfeits so if you do the law, if you logically think about it, the influx of new cards are fake cards. I don't want to deal with distress, and I, especially since it's a diminishing return, there's less and less people to play with. There's a less of an incentive for me to even have legacy cards. So again, I will emphasize that I have not purchased legacy legacy cards or collections in some time. I've had the ability to buy them below buy list. I still don't because the time that you would put into the stress level as well as just, okay, cool, you have all these cards. What are you gonna do with them? Are you gonna try to resell them? That's not really fun. I wanna play with them and there's just no one to play with in Houston. So those are my two primary reasons. Obviously this will be uh, interesting video and I look forward to the comments because I know a lot of you play legacy and a lot of you love legacy But we have to be realistic about it Star City games has Pretty much not supported it Wizard of the Coast will never support it again and Where is it going like it's where do you think it's going to go? Is it going to go up? Is it going to get more popular one day? It can only really go down, and it's because of these dual lands. It's <laughs> I put the blame solely on these 10 lands, and that's it. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Uh, let's have a very good discussion about legacy in general, as well as the future of legacy. Anyway, bye guys.